Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. Today I am working on trimming out our big front door window. It's uh, it's gonna be a task. I've already started a little bit with building out the jams and that took me about a day's worth of work. So it's probably gonna take a little bit getting through this. So I figured I'd show you guys how we're doing it and getting it done. This is the first time I've ever trimmed. Trimmed? Do you say trimmed? I don't even know. This is the first time I've ever done baseboards and trim and all that kind of stuff. So far it's going well. I've been busy over the last month and a bit getting all the baseboards done in the upstairs as well as building out the jams and trimming out all the windows and doors up here. So this is the last big project upstairs. And then once we get the flooring and all that done downstairs, I will hopefully be an expert by then so that uh, it'll move a little bit quicker than this is gone. So yeah, let, let's dive in. The first thing I'm doing is building out the jam and the actual flat sock is gonna stick right in here, but it's gonna leave a gap. So the first thing I'm gonna do is build out our blocks and screw those in. And then I will cut the flat sock to size and get that nailed in. So now that the blocks are in place, I'm going to go ahead and get my flat stock ready and cut to size, mail it in, and then repeat this process over and over and over again until we have done every window on this. We got a lot to do. This is a quick PSA for my mom. If the latter gave you anxiety, then I highly suggest that you fast forward this next little bit. All right, I'm back at this big window again today. It has been a journey trying to get this window done. Not easy when you don't 100% know what you're doing, but you're figuring it out as you go. Luckily, I did all of the other windows in the house or the upstairs of the house beforehand, so I had a little bit of background knowledge going into it, but um, yeah, it's been a project. So today, get the architrave up. I have my friend Jen helping me, which is really awesome. This is Jen, so I'm so excited because uh, there's gonna be a lot less arguing than there is between Dylan and I trying to do a project together. I got the muscles. All right, let's do it. What are we doing that Alcatraz? Where is it? An albatross? An albatross. 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 An
remember what the actual name of it is. I have no idea what it is. Architrave. It's an Architrave. We are about to hang the albatross. I'm, I'm nailing it. Send it. Just send it. I'm gonna send it. Oh, buddy. Does it fit? It fits. Look at us. Look at us. <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> Can you pass me that nail gun? We're gonna pop it in. We're, we're gonna pop it in. <laughs> like a glove. What up? That is, that is amazing. So it is safe to say that the hard part is finished. It was what one would call a challenge, to say the very least. A few phone calls to my dad to get me through this, and we're at this point. So today, I am gonna do all of the caulking, let that dry, get the coats of paint on, and then completion. And I'm so excited. When Dylan and I first started talking about selling our last house, I remember us being out on our back porch, having a beer, discussing our grand scheme to do all of this. I had this vision of being able to have a kitchen that I enjoy being in and getting to stare out at windows. Given how this has turned out, it's safe to say that somehow what I envisioned then has definitely come to light. So getting these two windows done definitely feels like a huge accomplishment. Even though it feels like it's only trim, it's not just trim to me. It feels like a pretty big deal. When I'm at the island doing my canning, cooking, whatever it is that Dylan and I are into, it'll be so nice to actually enjoy these windows and not be looking at all of the spray foam, all of the poly sticking out, bits of drywall, everything else. It's gonna be a nice clean finish that took a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to cover up, but we are here now, so let's get to caulking. thing about shooting this video is that it took us longer to come together and shoot this outro than it did for me to do that window which is saying something because it took a really long time to get that window done I think it was about six weeks not six well, weeks from the start of that per single window to the end of that single window yeah right. it's not that it took me six weeks of actual work it took me six weeks of working on it getting super frustrated and then giving up because I was angry and then working up the patience again to go at it. The hardest part about it was definitely building out the jams for each individual window. If I had a lot more skills and experience, I'm sure it would have been a lot easier because I would have known some tricks to pull from, but I didn't. But it got done. It being solely that window. What do you mean? I did all the windows. All the windows in here are now done, trimmed out, ready to go, the and doors. they look great. Okay, well we're not gonna talk about that door. What do you think of it? Of that door? No, we're not we're not talking about that one. That's the one door that we've picked out that you've picked out that I don't have done. I think it looks good. I like the I didn't think she'd be able to pull off the architrave, but Oh, but I did. I had some quality help getting that up there. Arguing then there is between I got the muscles. It's heavy. Not me. To save curse words with one another, sometimes it's a little better to get some outside help. One of the things that we did do with this window because we didn't really know how to finish it. There was no plan. This was something that the previous owner had done. So we basically took a photo of our window into a, a local business that specializes in trim and door 
and they were able to actually map out what we should do. And so this was their brainchild. I was able to bring to life and it definitely helped having some expert eyes on it because I honestly don't think that I would have or you would have thought to do anything. No, I definitely would have thought. I could have come up with this <laughs> pretty quickly. Okay. Probably like how he could have finished it as well. And I so, could have yeah. pretty quickly. Yeah, pretty quickly. How's that room downstairs coming along? Good, I'm just taking a much needed break that I deserve because yeah. I've been working so hard on yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. He really works up the sweat. I do. Definitely helped having their eye on it. They were the ones that recommended that we run flat stock everywhere. And then they also recommended doing the architrave, which was a great call because again, I wouldn't have. I would have. <laughs> okay, okay, well. Dylan thinks he would have. I know that neither of us would not have. Neither of us would not have. That makes sense. Doesn't that technically mean we both would have? Is that would. not technically a double I negative? Know what I don't know. Anyways, we're not here to learn English. We're here to talk about how beautiful my woodworking skills are. Anyways, really happy with how it turned out. I guess this kind of, the outro for this video kind of makes sense because it was spring when you started. <laughs> And it is once again spring uh, recording this well, video. Well, we couldn't so. film it in the wintertime. It would have looked silly for everybody. Of course, yeah, we need the continuity of, yeah. of, you know, not having snow on the ground. That's it. That's all we got for, for this, I think. Well done. Thanks. So, If you would like to see more videos, you can subscribe. Sorry. La -la -la. So if you want to subscribe and be notified of future videos, you we can... Just passed a thousand. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and following along and we will get some more videos out here shortly. So in the meantime, if you like hanging out with us, please subscribe to our channel over here. You can watch more videos over here and don't forget, this is your, this is your moment. This is your big moment. The thumbs up. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching, following along and we will see you soon.